Oh, is, I guess my, that leads to the next random question. Yes, it's, Some bullshit. It's, uh, any any random <laughs> paranormal experiences? Oh, that's the next question. Ooh, yeah, I kind of want to throw that. I mean, I went. I, got I, 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 I went through. I did my sh- I did my fucking like <gasps> fucking two chapters on it. What about you guys? Since I, Halloween is just I around, I just want to say something about that story. Is that like when the spirits move out of people's bodies, people quite often do throw up. Like that's very that's like the most normal thing that happens. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about anyone else? Like any paranormal good. activities? Aside um, from the I'm movie, sad. I'm sad. First of all, that Brandon bowed out because he has some crazy stories. <laughs> I'm hoping he comes back on soon. Yeah, I hope he comes back. Um, for me, I don't know if this counts as paranormal, but I like. I think it's kind of sort of the last question too of like things that you're proud of or something that no one's seen. I feel the emotions of people even when they're far away. So it's like kind of like when moms like know instinctively when there's something wrong with their kid yeah. or like when twins, you know, how twins, even if they're like on different sides of the planet, they'll be like, Oh shit. And they like know some shit went down with the twin. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Um, but like the dials turned up like maybe two or three notches. Hmm. So like I've had some experiences <laughs> like my friend, she's like, you're a blue I'm like, no, I don't know about that because I don't know what the Brazilian term is yet because I'm still learning Portuguese. But <laughs> I'm yeah. seeing along those lines because, like, hey, baby. I mean, I do have a black cat, but so, okay. Oh. Um, but, like, sometimes, um, like, I've had, like, hella creepy shit where, like, I know when my friends are, like, going to die or, like, when they're, like, deeply afraid of shit. So, like, one of... Like, one of the most visceral ones I had was I was, like, cleaning this bathtub. Like, we were all at this, like, um, this, like, beach house or whatever. And it was, like, me and my friend staying at, like, some girl's beach house. So, like, we didn't really like this girl, but we were at her beach house. And, like, (laughs) and so, and I wasn't drunk, but everybody else was drinking. And so everybody had just left, like, a fucking mess in this, like, in this, like, oh, it was, like, a hot tub. And everyone had like sandy ass feet and sandy asses and everybody had got like sand everywhere. And like, oh, we're pretending we're in a hot tub. I guess that was the joke. So like all that happened was we're staying in someone else's home and there's just hella sand in this empty ass hot tub. So I'm just like cleaning out this hot tub and the beach is like pretty fucking far away because I'm in the house and then I have to walk out to the beach to get to the water. And I'm like cleaning out the bathtub and then I like feel my friend drowning. And I like felt it in my whole being. And I was like, oh shit. And I I started like shaking and panicking because I like knew like, oh shit, Claire's drowning. Like, fuck. And so then I shit. I'm like, and I'm like this. I'm like literally like I've never shaken like that before. And I threw down this like thing that I was using to clean. Cause at this point I'm all alone just cleaning this tub. And I like ran, I ran to the door and then I like ran outside and I ran onto the beach, run, 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 run. And I'm like looking desperately and it's so dark and I'm like losing my shit because I felt her um, like give up. And that's the part that fucked me up. Like I felt her give up um, and accept that she was like, this was it. And that, and that I was like terrified and like everything was so dark. Cause it was like nighttime, everyone's drunk. And I'm like looking and I don't know where anybody is. And I'm just like, do I scream? Do I scream? Do I scream? And then, like, inside me, and then something goes, like, whoosh. Like, and so, so I don't feel her anymore. And it was, like, kind of weird. And then I, like, look out in the water, and I see this, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I see this little shape. Even though it's dark, I see her shape, like, come out of the water. I'm, like, Bleh. she's got her clothes on. She's drunk as fuck. And she's, like, <laughs> like getting you know like she Jesus wakes, Christ. Like, deep. yeah and she like comes out of the water like slopping out of the water i'm like oh my god Claire. <laughs> and basically what happened is she got caught in like one of those like what is it called like those undercurrents you know? yeah tides oh. yeah riptide yeah like riptide and she had got caught in a riptide and i was like i mean if you think about it, it's a really useless gift to be able to feel other people's fear or sadness or emotions because <laughs> Predicting the future would be like way more useful. 
<laughs> then I could have stopped her from going into the water in the first place. <laughs> but like, I don't have that. <laughs> All I have is the present moment. And I can only feel it when I'm like Zen in myself. Anyway, Claire's alive. <laughs> no, that's good. I was like, yeah, yeah. she's alive. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she made it. She made it. And I've had like a lot of experiences like that. Usually it's fear of death or near death experiences. Um, sometimes, um, sometimes it's depression and sadness. Um, and sometimes it's really confusing because I don't know whose emotion it is, but I know it's someone else's. So I have to just sit there and wait until I figure out whose it is. And it can be very frustrating because I'm usually in a place where I'm like, um, like I'm on top of a hill and I just hiked up and I'm watching the sunset and I'm like feeling chill. So I'm like very Zen. And then I'll feel like this, like horrible pain, of loneliness, frustration, and anxiety. And I'm like, I'm actually fine. I don't know what this is. I don't know who you are, but you're invading my emotions right now because I'm trying to have a nice time but I'll just be sort of assaulted with huh. <laughs> someone else's uh, experience and I have to figure out who it is. And then I'll just try my best to like text them or call them or help if, if I can help, but it's really rather useless. That, that's wild. So it's like you have to, at once it happens, it's like you have to now have to do a process of elimination to figure it out, figure yeah. out who it is. Is it friends most of the time or is it sometimes strangers? Well, it's been expanding lately. So it, at first it was just people that I really, really love and that I feel really connected to, like my sister. So I know her like tone and her energy. So like I felt a feeling once where... Um, I was like 21 or 22 and I felt like, Oh shit, I'm about to be 30. I'm going to be alone <laughs> forever. And I just fucking accept it. I accept it. It was like so gnarly and it was like very feminine and I'm not like super feminine. I was like, what is this? Oh, garbage. And then, but because I know her sort of like tone and the way she is, I could, after a few minutes, I could sense that it was my sister. Mm. So usually it comes to me after like a while but lately it's been expanding to people who I honestly don't even like very much. And I'm like, <laughs> shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like I've been like, I don't even, I didn't even think I liked that girl, but I like knew, I like no shit about their lives. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, hmm. like I kept seeing visions of this one girl who I kept seeing visions of her, like cleaning her house and taking advice but taking it in her own way and then mm. applying it and I kept like seeing her like like Marie Kondoing or something her house but not Marie Kondoing because she refused to get rid of things she didn't want to get rid of it's like a bunch of specific ass shit like that that I won't go into and it was like several days of this shit and I was like what is happening <laughs> get out of my I don't care about you that much <laughs> and but then I went to this like dinner or this lunch and then my other friend was like oh did you know like Lauren's been in AA and I was like, Oh, <laughs> and then Shit. I talked to Lauren, the girl who I can say, cause you guys don't know me there. So it's fine. <laughs> and then apparently the reason I've been feeling it for those past couple of days is cause it's like, people don't go to AA because it's fun, right? You go so that you can so that you can live the rest of your life and be your best self in the rest of your life. Right. Yeah. Like other reasons, obviously. So, so what I was feeling from her was those past couple of days, she had been working on her sort of like application for this, um, race. So I'd been feeling her cleaning house in terms of her behavior and her relationships and like putting, like putting the things she had been learning into practice. And mm. so I expressed it to her and she's like, Oh yeah. She's like, you know why you've been feeling that? It's because I'm applying for this this raise and, da -da -da and this new, this new job and this new journey. Book. So I was like, Oh, okay. So wow. it's just like shit like that where it's now it's just sort of random. And I'm like, <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I didn't, I didn't ask for this. It's fine, but it's just what's going on. So <laughs> I'm personally obsessed with you, Safira. That's your hearing <laughs> plants. That's my dream. And I don't know how you've been given that. But I'm oh, sure say. you have it. Yeah. I mean, if oh, you're I able to feel all of that stuff, then you can probably. Yeah. It, it, I almost feel like you guys like are, you can definitely 
learn a lot from Safira and what she's been doing in regards to healing. Yeah, I mean, it's part of your skill set. You just have to learn how to how to she's, use it. She's like raw talent right now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. 